Okay, we're going to solve this system of equations. And as we can see, none of the variables has been isolated for us, right? Therefore, we should use the elimination method because it's usually faster than the substitution. So with that being said, we are going to think about which of the variables to be isolated first. And let me just do it to the x, okay? Of course, you can do it to the y, but it's up to you. Both of them will work. Let me just do it with the x. And let me put down LCM above the x. And we have to figure out what is the LCM, the lowest common multiple of the number 5 and the number 10. And the answer to that is 10. Okay? And this will tell us we want to make both of these numbers become 10. And the sign have to be alternating. One should be positive, the other one should be negative. Let's focus on the first one right here. We have a 5 right here already, and we have to ask ourselves, 5 times what will give us 10? We know 5 times 2 will give us 10, therefore, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. And when we are doing the elimination, this is how we should organize our work. Start from the left, and we move to the right. And we see 2 times 5x, that will give us positive 10x, and we be sure to distribute the 2 into everything. We also multiply the 2 with negative 3y. That will give us negative 6y. And we will have 2 times 6. That's 12, right? So this is equal to 12. And if you look at the next equation right here, we have a 10 in front of the x already, so that's good. And also, this 10x, this is the positive 10x. So we do want this right here to be a negative 10x. But this is already a negative 10x. That means we are all good. We don't need to do anything. We just have to bring this to here, line them up, okay? So let me just write this down, negative 10x, and then let me put down plus 6y, and this is equal to negative 4. And now we are ready. So as we can see, both of these are 10, and the signs were opposite, and the goal was to get rid of the x first. And we are getting rid of the x. 10x minus 10x is 0. However, right here, we have what? We have negative 6y plus 6y. This becomes what? This is also 0, isn't it? Well, it's not my fault that I got rid of the y also. It just happened to be like this way. Don't get mad at me, right? Anyways, so the entire left-hand side becomes just a 0, and this is equal to, here we have 12 minus 4, which that's an 8. And now, we have this. 0 is equal to 8. What does this tell us? Where's the x, by the way? Where's the y? This doesn't make sense. 0 is not equal to 8. So, right here, this is the false statement. And the response to this is that we will know that original system of equations has no solution. And this right here is the indication. When M, whenever we end up with a false statement, the system of equations has no solution. And this right here is it.